these semifinals continues with Hoosier Heaven. It's Evansville and number 20, Indiana. In 1976, Bob Knight's Indiana Hoosiers went 32-0 to become the last team to go undefeated on their way to the national championship. Jim Cruz played for Coach Knight on that historic team. Tonight, he brings his Purple Aces to Madison Square Garden for the very first time and faces his old coach. Hi, everybody. Joel Myers, along with Dick Vitale. Welcome back to the Garden once again. Duke is in the championship game on Friday night right here on ESPN. Now we find out, Dick, whether it's going to be Indiana or Evansville. Nice little subplot coming into the game. The teacher against the student. Bobby Knight against former player and assistant for eight years, Jim Cruz. Interesting subplot. Bobby Knight also told us, though, he doesn't relish it. Doesn't like facing former assistants or players. Well, you know, you talk about the coaching fraternity. It's such a small world. You talk about Jim Cruz, a member of that 76 team that he served for eight years as an assistant coach at Indiana before he went to Evansville and has done an outstanding job in his 11 years at Evansville. Bob Knight sung his praises big time to me today. He said he can flat out coach. So we got Bob Knight going against Jim Cruz and the winner plays against Mike Krzyzewski who 75 was a graduate assistant at Indiana while Cruz played and Bob Knight was coaching. A small, small world. One guarantee it's going to be an emotional game tonight for Jim Cruz and Bob Knight. They need a big one from Neil Reed as well. We'll find out if he can come through. Evansville, Indiana up next. Great college basketball. I mean, you got two teams in the same state trying to pull the upset here, Evansville. Morales asked for it against Patterson. Down to eight on the shot clock. Be a passer. This guy can drive. He can penetrate. We'll he see. can penetrate. He can penetrate. He can penetrate. Wow. Wow. It's the Indiana. No timeout. Running the ball up the court. You've got to look for Reed defensively. Right now you got to look for Reed or Patterson. He's got to make the big play. Reed getting the pick. There's Reed to driving the through the guard. Doesn't get the wall. Ball on the floor. Kicked by Evansville. Indiana's Patterson after it. Knocked away with 1.2 left. It'll belong wow. to Indiana. Wow. Are they jumping with joy down in Evansville in terms of smelling a W? But with one second, anything can happen. Not over, baby, as Yogi would say. Not over. Look at this wacko in front of me. Look at this wacko. This wacko going nuts here. I mean, he's going nuts. The Evansville mascot. Get him out of here. Indiana setting up a final shot with 1.2 seconds remaining. Joel Myers, along with Dick Vitale, Aces of Evansville did not have a lead in this game since 10 to 9, five minutes of the contest. Marcus Wilson came through with 20 seconds to go. Now they'll try to get it to Reed if they can. Patterson, as Dick mentioned, the second option. They got to really play some great defense. This will be one of the great wins in Evansville history. Guyton one Tucker's second away. Remember the clock starts. Dick got a good shot. and loves dearly. And this is exactly why Bobby Knight told us yesterday, I don't like it. I don't relish facing former assistants or former players. Well, he doesn't like playing against them, but you better believe he likes the thrill of winning rather than losing. You can guarantee that. And what a play by the Patterson with that little jump shot. No one got over the top of the screen. A little baseline jumper with time on the clock. 1.2. The clock does not start until the ball touches the player. Oh, uh, what a another look. Now watch the little execution right here. The little screen. There's the punch. There's the fadeaway jumper. And it's jubilation in Bloomington, Indiana. Oh, there it goes. Up, up, and away. And the Hoosiers remain unbeaten. Rematch December 21st at the RCA Dole. It'll be the Hoosiers against the Purple Aces once again. That's just like Digger would design that play. I saw Digger win a lot of games in Notre Dame deciding plays like that at the end. And he had that beautiful, he'd wear that lapel with that flower. Dead Joel, take it away, baby. What a finish. Only points over the final three minutes of the game for Indiana Patterson's game winner, 74-73 Hoosiers. 
Molly Invitational, Virginia, Kansas, coming up a little bit later. For Dick Vitale, I'm Joel Myers. Thanks for being with us. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. We head back to the studio once again. Rejoin Gary Miller and Digger Phelps.